welcome to Mystic Intuition. This is my first reading on this channel. Um, this will be for the sign of Pisces. How I plan to do the reading uploads is from Pisces through to Aries in reverse order. Keep in mind this is a general message. It is not going to resonate with everyone. If this doesn't sound like your message, try checking your moon rising or your Venus sign. This is going to be for October 15th through the 31st. Okay, more Pisces from mid to end of October 2019. I do my readings a little bit differently. So how I will do them for you is I'm going to do six cards for you, six cards for your person, and three for the outcome. And I'll also clarify those cards. Uh, sorry if you can't see them all on screen, but I will hold them up for you. And then under the deck, we have Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Under that is the overall energy, the King of Chalices, or Cups. So, under the deck we had the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So what that tells me is that someone here has been waiting a long time for a situation to grow. They're feeling very defensive here with the Nine of Wands. They're feeling very on guard about this connection and they're really not wanting to let it go with the Four of Pentacles. So here on this top row, this is you. This first two cards is for your thoughts, what's in your mind. The second two is your heart space, what you desire. And then the last two cards are your actions and intentions with this connection. Same thing with your person. That's how I kind of have them laid out here for you. So with the King of Chalices, somebody here is really kind of holding on to their emotions. They're really not making it clear how they feel about a situation. The King of Cups or Chalices in this deck is someone who does feel very deeply, but they keep their emotions very well in check. They're not going to let on if they don't, if they're not ready to express anything to you. The biggest negative to this king is that he can be hard to read sometimes. So, in your thoughts, you're ready to make this work. You are. You see this person potentially as a soulmate with the lovers here. This is a really beautiful card in this deck. This is about possibly a third party situation, whether you or your other person have someone else. The lovers usually indicates a choice in love. And the three of pentacles here means that you're willing to put in the work. You're really thinking about how to make this work because you don't want to let this go with the four of pentacles here. I don't think either of you really do. Um, I'm going to read the signs of the cards as well. Keep in mind that if you hear the sign, all the better that resonates for you. But it doesn't have to be. It just could be the overall energy of the card. So we have a lot of wands here, which is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a lot of pentacles, which is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We have the lovers, which is Gemini, the king of chalices, that's water energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we've got the strength game of Leo here. So in your, in your heart space, you do, you see this person as complete emotional fulfillment. You do. The, t the Ten of Cups is, is that. It's having that, that stable home, that loving, nurturing, that just filling all of your cups. And with the Knight of Pentacles, in your heart you see this person, you see 
the potential for a very stable, committed relationship. With your actions and intentions toward this person, we have the moon, which it could be Pisces, um, and then we ha which that's it's you, so it could be you. <laughs> um, you're just maybe you feel this person's holding something back or hiding something from you. Maybe there's secrets, whether you or the other person have that just haven't come to light yet. But with the King of Pentacles, you're coming in toward this person, whether you're male or female. You're coming toward this person as a very stable, grounded energy. Your person, in their thoughts, is the Ten of Wands and the Two of Chalices, which means is they do feel that soulmate connection with you. They feel it, but they feel very burdened. So I feel your person may have someone else, or maybe if it's if it's a third party, you know that could that could be an explanation here. If it's not another person, that third party could be drugs, alcohol, working too much. It could be a lot of things. A third party doesn't always have to be multiple people, but they feel very burdened in their heart space. I think they're really conflicted with the Two of Wands about making a choice. Um, and I think this causes them some, some heartbreak with the Three of Swords. Um, it's very painful for them. Maybe because you haven't detached from someone or they haven't been able to detach from someone else. In their actions and intentions though, um, they have the Strength card. So I feel like it's taken a great deal of their strength to balance all this out and weigh out the burdens because they do feel that with you. They feel that connection. Um, and with the Eight of Pentacles, I think they're willing to put the work in. I feel like if they haven't so far, they will be putting the work in toward this relationship. I do want to go ahead and clarify uh, the cards, how you're thinking about this relationship. The Hermit. We could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this is kind of withdrawing, kind of not knowing, um, waiting for some illumination. You've kind of pulled yourself back in your thoughts. You you sent, you want to build, you see this person, but you're having to reflect because a choice has to be made here. On the bottom of the deck we have the Hangman. You could be feeling stuck. This is the card of Pisces. Um, you could be feeling stuck or trapped in your heart. You know, you see this person as abundantly fulfilling um, and emotionally fulfillment with the Nine, nine of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Chalices. With the Queen of Cups, you're feeling very emotional at this time, you know, about this connection because I think you really do long for this. You long for this connection. And your actions, clarifying the Moon and the King of Pentacles is the star. Yeah, this is your person is your wish fulfillment. You see healing energy with this person. Um, so your person, Pisces, they are thinking with the Ten of Wands and Two of Chalices, justice clarification. So in their thoughts, they're thinking about restoring balance to the situation. They are. They're thinking about coming towards you. Um, we have the Ace of Chalices here, uh, clarifying their heart space. So that clarifies the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands. They want a new beginning in love with you. Their heart, they desire it. Clarifying their actions, the strength, and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, two came up there. So, two cards we have here is the Judgment card and the Six of, of Chalices. So, this could be a reconciliation for some of you. This could be a past life connection with the Six of Chalices. Um, and then with Judgment, I feel like whatever wrongs have happened in the situation, they will be righted. Um, Keep in mind that time is fluent, so it may not be the end of October for some of you. Um, you may have to wait a little longer, but it is coming. They, they're they contemplating this justice to make amends and offer you this um, Ace of Cups, this new beginning in love and passion. So, that is what I have for you. If this resonated, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments um, how you like this style of reading, and I look forward to doing more for you guys. Thank you for watching.